My name is Ms. Arctastic, and today we're going to make sad monsters. For this tutorial, you're going to need felt markers and pencil crayons. Let's get started. All right, Artastic Nation, we're going to start off by drawing our monster's eyes. So, toward the middle of the page, we're going to draw a short line in, long line out, and then same on the other side, short line in, long line out. And between those two lines, you're going to add a third straight line. Okay, now we're going to draw an oval shape. For the monster's nose. And then um, in that oval shape, we're going to draw a curving rectangle. And that is going to be for the glare of light. And then you can just simply color the rest of the nose in. Now we're going to draw a long curving line for your monster's mouth and then we're going to add a U shape below. All right, and that will be for the bottom of the mouth. In each corner we're going to draw a little V for the corners of the mouth, above the mouth, a line for the chin, sorry, for the lips below the mouth, another curving line for the bottom of the lips, and now here's the chin itself. There we go. One more curving line. Once you have those done, you can add a tongue. So curve line up, then another curving line. So it looks sort of like a letter M. Above the head, we're going to draw two horns. And if you don't like the way I have drawn my horns, please feel free to experiment and draw the horns in your own drawing style. Once your horns are drawn, add curving lines to give the illusion that these horns are indeed round. Wonderful. You can also color in the dark spot or the dark spaces in the mouth. And this will help that tongue stand out and make it look like an actual mouth. Awesome. 
Now we are going to draw um, the monster's tears, then we'll draw the arms, then the body, then the legs. Now we're going to draw a tear shape, a small tear on either side of the monster's face. Now the next two tears are going to be larger than the first. So two larger tiers. Then the last tiers are going to be quite large indeed. Perfect. And in each tier, we're going to draw a little strip for the glare of light. And I like to make that little strip go with the shape of the shiny object. Beautiful. Now we said we were going to draw the arms. So these arms are going to be slightly hidden behind the tears. I'm drawing mine kind of like human arms, but feel free to change it up and try something different if you don't like how I've drawn mine. Okay, now we're gonna draw the fur and we're gonna draw that with just some different zigzag lines down the body. And I'm gonna, there we go. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space at the bottom because this monster will have just some tiny little legs. So he's gonna have his huge, massive body and then just tiny, tiny little legs at the bottom. Because that's how mine looked out. Okay, so I'll leave that bottom like that. As you can see, this guy is so sad. I'm gonna draw two legs. I'm leaving just enough space for my big toes, which I draw like the letter C. Perfect, look at those legs. Now, um, we're gonna add some hatching lines here and there, and this is gonna create shading. So hatching lines are shading using lines instead of just blending. There's lots of different types of shading. You can do cross hatching or pointillism, which is also called stippling. But today I'm choosing intentionally to use hatching lines to shade my monster just a little bit. So anywhere I might have shaded with blending, I am instead adding those hatching lines and the closer they are together, the darker the shading will be the farther apart, the less um, dark or intense that shade will be. And you often see this kind of shading style in cartooning, such as in caric caricatures. Perfect. It looks like we're ready to color with felt markers. So um, you can pick your choice of medium to color with. You can follow along or pick whatever you enjoy using. I'm going to use felt markers today to color and then I'm going to use my pencil crayons to shade. So you can follow along or you can simply pick your own mediums that you want to color, color with.
All right, we're gonna use our black and our white pencil crayons to um, shade our sad monster. We'll come back to these teardrops a little bit later where we uh, shade them with pencil crayons or color them in with pencil crayons. Okay, so I'm gonna get my white pencil crayon first and I'm going to start adding highlights to my art piece. I'm first adding some highlights to my tongue, which I can see is still a little bit wet. So this is, I'll come back to that because that's not going as expected there. All right, we'll work on the nose then. We'll add some highlights to the nose just along the top. Okay, I'm gonna add white highlights to the horns along the top again. And because my horns are yellow, it's a little bit more difficult for the viewer to see. I'm adding some white to the toes and feet. And already you can see that it's starting to pop. You can add white highlights to the arms, wherever you can see them, such as the fingers. We're gonna add white to the face. And along the sides, anywhere that you think there might be light casting on the body. This is going to help create new values or tints of blue. And it'll really smooth out all that marker coloring that you got going on there. I'm going to add highlights to the upper lip. Sharpen the pencil real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Come back to that tongue and yep, it, it's a lot easier to color when that felt marker is nice and dry. Nice. You can also add some highlights along the perimeter of the mouth, just like that. Kind of frames it in a little bit longer. That looks great. We're gonna shade the top of that chin to make it really pop. and then lightly shade around it to give it a shape. Okay, we're going to highlight the eyes. So in between, We're gonna set aside that white and exchange it for black. Now I'm going to go and shade all those elements that I just highlighted. So the opposite sides or where the light is not hitting, we're going to add very gently, just color and add black. We don't want it to be too dark, just a nice little shadow.
right, we're gonna come back to the eyes. I'm just gonna color back over them with this black and this will really help them pop. And then I'm gonna add just a bit of shading in the inside on top and around. And that will really help it pop out. And I'm also adding shadows to anything that kind of is actually attached to the body so it looks grounded, such as around the horns or underneath these teardrops or around the nose and mouth and chin and arms. That way everything looks like it's grounded to the body. So our last step is shading the tears. I'm going to shade dark or color darkly along the edges. I'm just using a blue pencil crayon right now. Okay, so dark. And then I'm going to color in a circle. And I'm gonna press a little bit softer and then I'm going to press very soft as I work towards that shiny, shiny spot. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take my black. I'm just going to barely color along the edge. Just barely. And then I'll take my white and I'll just smooth out that inside there. And now we're gonna do that one, two, three, four, five more times. All right, your sad monster is now done. 
Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to this channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic, and shirts for both teachers and art teachers are available at MsArtasticCollection.com. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.